In this second part of the presentation, we're going to look at special types of graphs. Now, the, in the first instance here, what we have is a picture of uh, uh, figures of four simple complete graphs. Uh, so each with the respective amount of vertices, one, two, three, and four. First off, it's a simple graph because between each pair of vertices, there is only one edge. I'll just give a quick example of a scenario where there is, not, which is not a simple graph. If suppose we have two vertices like that, and suppose there is two different edges between them. In that case, that would be not simple. Okay. So in the, in each of these cases, between each pair of vertices, there is only one edge. Okay, now it's a complete graph because between each pair of vertices there is a, there is an edge. There is a they, they are all directly connected. They are all adjacent to each other in terms of the graph. So uh, down here we have four vertices uh, on K four. There's no vertex in the middle, by the way and they are all connected to each other. So this is vertex one. Suppose it's connected to vertex two by that edge, vertex three by that edge, and vertex four by that edge. And likewise for vertices two, three, and four. So that is a complete graph. That's the idea of a complete graph. What we're gonna do here is, oops, I went too far. Let me uh, scroll back up. What we're going to do here is we are going to draw K5. So this is an edge, uh, a graph with five vertices. So let's uh, first off draw our vertices. One, two, three, four, and five. Now between each pair of vertices, we draw an edge. So I have that one there, I have one there, I have one there, there there, 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 and there, and lastly there. Okay, so this is a K5. Between each pair of the vertices we have an edge. Now consider the uh, graph on the next slide. It's Let's actually just show you that for a second. There it is there. Just notice one thing, that it's split into two groups. We have A and B, uh, group A up here, and group B down here. And in group A, the node, the vertices are connected to each vertex in group B and vice versa. But they're not connected to each other. One, for example, something that is missing is an edge from there to there, and an edge from there to there, and an edge from there to there, and something like that. Okay, that is that. So that's uh, it's not a complete graph. So it's not a complete graph because it is true that every vertex is adjacent to every other ver. Uh, uh, every other vertex. However, they are divided into two disjoint groups. So as I had it there earlier, one and two and three, four and five, A and B. So such that any two vertices chosen from set the same set are not adjacent, they're not connected, but any two vertices uh, chosen from chosen one from each set are adjacent, they are connected. In that case we would have that we call that a bipartite complete graph okay so every element in group A or for each element of group A is connected with every element in group B and so on so a formal definition a graph is a bipartite complete graph if its vertices can be partitioned into two disjoint non-empty sets V1 and V2 or A and B as I had, I had it earlier such that Two vertices x and y are adjacent if and only if x is uh, an element of v1 
and y is an element of v2. So if basically they're in two different uh, groups, two different sets, if the um, cardinality of group 1, v1, is m, and the cardinality of set 2, group 2, is n, we would denote it as kmn. So what we just seen there previously was a graph with which we would denote k2 and 3. So a little exercise here, draw k3 and 3. So up top we will have we have uh, the first group 1, 2 and 3. Down below we'll have the second group and we'll denote them 4, 5 and 6. And we'll draw in the edges in green. So 1 is connected to 4. 1 is connected to 5 and 1 is connected to 6. 2 is connected to 4, 2 is connected to 5, 2 is connected to 6, and 3 is connected to 4, to 5, and to 6. So that is K3 and 3.